I have had this bottle of Prime since 10 o'clock this morning. Now, things are going to get start getting interesting in these videos now because I've got a weekend off. So I'm going to be playing a lot of City Skylines. And I've already started building this ridiculously weaving raised highway through this new commercial zone. And it's even higher than the pylons, as you can see there. But... Today we're going to be doing uh, something interesting. I just need to check and see uh, how close we are to our next milestone. We are quite close. We're about 30,000 off, which is cool. And we've got a ton of industrial um, that needs to be added into the port. As you can see here, um, our industrial is... Uh, we, we need a lot of industrial. <laughs> I've actually added some in. I'm starting to make the port look very, uh, very interesting. Um, I do think we need to get some more people in here. Um, and for some reason, we still have high rent. We're going to have to put a little... Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a little um, sort of... We're going to put some low rent in here. We're going to put uh, a few a few low rent houses in here. I think um, for some reason you can't build them on the cozy highway. Why is that highway? What? Wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> one lane road. Let's upgrade this to a one lane road, and then wait. Well, that's glitched. Okay, let's upgrade this to a one lane road. And then at least we can put some low rent houses in. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it didn't upgrade. There we go. Okay, so we'll put some low rent in. We hardly have any low rent houses, believe it or not. There we go. Now, for some reason, they don't build straight away. And I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But they, they simply don't build. But never mind, because we are going to do some industrial work now. Now, you remember we put the gas power plant in. I have decided that we're going to put in some more industrial. So I actually have done quite a bit of work here. Hang on. <laughs> Before we get into this, I put uh, I built this office area up. We needed quite a lot of offices, actually. Uh, put a commercial zone in here. Uh, put a commercial, an industrial zone in here, and a few more offices in here. This was already here. This was already here in the last episode. I built a new um, rail yard that has been serving uh, the various new uh, lines that I put in, including this one here. I put a cargo terminal from here, from over on that side of the map. And I also connected up this terminal to this side of the map, which is very cool. Now, uh, as you can see, the... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. This should be interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the not good... Uh, not good uh, screenshot. There we go. I will just uh, be back in a second because I'm going to... Oh my god. <laughs> I think maybe that needs to be higher, or maybe that's just glitched. Jesus. I don't know. I do like how they've got the lifeboat on the back there, though. Look at that. Pretty cool. That's very cool, actually. Right, back in a second. I'm going to go and uh, get that as shaved as a screensaver, otherwise it won't work. And I am back, and I've got it saved as a thumbnail, so uh, that should be uh, pretty cool. As a, as, a, as a teaser thumbnail for not good, <laughs> which it actually isn't. Uh, now, is this a, this is the harbour. We've got the, um, the large parking lots in. We must remember to put these parking lot fees up. Otherwise, we're not going to make any money. <laughs> and in here as well. Uh, right, we need a parking lot in there. Is that, uh, let me see, these aren't, these aren't saved as, um, As parking lots so we could do with uh, putting some more industry in here I know it doesn't I know it we need to try and utilize as much space as possible because once the city starts to like expand and look we're already on hundred and fifty one thousand people 
it's not the biggest. It's not the biggest city on YouTube at the minute. Somebody has one with 330,000. But I am still hopeful. I am still hopeful that we can do this. Uh, let's not do that. Let's drag this up here and try and get some more. <laughs> some more uh, houses. Can we get any more on this side of the... Uh... Nope, don't think we can do that. Nope, definitely not. But we can get some more up here. Now, one other thing I should be able to do as well is sort of bring this up like this. Now, we don't want to be putting them over here because that will raise the raise the riverbed up and make it look like garbage. So we will put some more uh, industrial whoops. Like I said, we don't want to. Oh, we don't want to do that. So uh, what we do need to do is sort of like just sort of level it out like this. There we go. Something like that. Nice. Now, uh, we need some more over here, although once again we have to be careful because of the edge of the river. So we'll do it to there like that, and then we'll do that one as well. Oh, we can do another one as well there. Look at that. Ta-da! Right. There we go. So we further utilize uh, our space and make things look amazing. Now, we've got an issue. For some reason... Uh, oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I'm guessing it's the power plant. It has to be. But at some point, we're going to be fully solar anyway. Right, let me open my prime and have a nice drink of... Strawberry watermelon. I've been waiting for this all day, to be honest. I've literally been, had this since 10 o'clock this morning when I went to work and picked it up while I was on my lunch break and uh, yes ah that's so good right now that fixes the prime situation because there's only one pink prime on there and it was absolutely doing my head in so I think now that's going to be the last of the prime until I can get hold of one of the limited edition ones but anyway, back to the game, and um, we've got an issue where we don't have any workers. Now, what we can do here is we can probably fix that by putting in... Uh, did those low-rent houses build? Nope. So there's something not right. Um, we've got... Oh, another thing as well. We've got some... Um, we've got... Um, some new limited edition buildings to put in which is very interesting waterfall array design form and function tied together makes this the ideal place to make game software and more this visually stunning exterior also attracts tourists from outside the city so this is an office building and we really want it in our port so i was thinking about putting it right uh, basically right here Deleting one of these. Whoops, need to be above ground to do that. Deleting one of these and then putting it actually at the harbour side, like here. If we put it there. Look at look at the size of this thing. This is amazing. This is amazing in our port. Uh, wow. Yeah, this is pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I love it. Wait, why did it just go orange? Wait, what? <laughs> I could have sworn it was blue a second ago. What? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Right, let's get a path down the side of it here. Uh, let's go and find the paths. And put a path in there. We don't need that thing. Oh, God. Actually, yes, we do. Uh, we'll put a path in there. There we go. And this can be... Do we have anything else that we can put in here? Uh, food station. Oh, yeah. Let's get a food station in here as well. Because uh, then people who are, who are jumping, jumping off at the port can get something to eat. Wonderful. 
I love it. Yes, that's cool. Uh, right. Um, this gives 2% offer sufficiency citywide, 5% interest in university education, 1% university graduation chance, and 5% well-being within 1.5 kilometers. This gives 1% import costs. Oh no, minus 1% import costs. That's good because it's in the port. Uh, one plus one percent attractiveness and plus three percent well-being in one kilometer. You know, it's so nice to play this tonight without having to rush it so much. Uh, it's uh, it's good to be it's good to be to be uh, not having to worry about time so much. So let's get a couple of medium density row houses in here. We don't need as much medium density. Uh, let's get some some smaller houses on this side uh, now it's gonna probably get air pollution issues although the winds blowing that way so it shouldn't be too bad there might be a noise pollution issue there with this and uh, all the railways and stuff that are going on but to be honest there's not that many trains coming in it's not actually that bad um, right this highway being used it is, although the simulation is crawling. <laughs> and I mean really crawling. It's like struggling bad. And I've turned the graphics down as well. We're now on medium graphics, some of you may have noticed. Uh, but, yeah, things are... There isn't actually a lot of cars either for some reason. I suppose that's a good thing. I suppose that means that there's uh, not going to be too much of an issue with uh, with traffic. So what we need to do is we need to move this post office. Uh, can I even move it to there? We're going to move this police station to there. Because wait, what? No, I said move the police station to there. There we go. Now we've got a slight problem with uh, people who are waiting for hearses. So that means only one thing. What's our money like? Our money is going down. This is good. So we need to get in a um, crematorium. We're going to put one in there. Uh, and we're going to upgrade it with as many hearses as possible. Don't think we so much need an incinerator. We just need quite a few hearses. There we go. Now... Uh, does this high school need upgrading? No, it doesn't. It's actually working okay. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to put more tourist stuff in. But at the minute, it's not too bad. There's quite a few people milling about here. Um, and the buses do seem to be working okay, even though that the, uh, the speed has gone to a crawl. But never mind. Uh, right, back to the port area. I'm still not sure how to fix this this up, but um, what we need to do is we need to get rid of this. Actually, uh, let's get rid of that and that and that, and let's bulldoze them. Oh, hang on a second. We need to bulldoze that as well. And we also need to get a hearse um, death care in here. Actually, we could do with getting a clinic in here as well, to be honest. We'll put a hearse thing in there and we'll upgrade it with a garage. Just one garage, I think, for this one. But we are going to need to put in here a, um, a clinic because, unfortunately, things are going to start getting bad if we don't. So there we go. I'll put a clinic in. And that should go some way to... Um, we'll upgrade that with an ambulance depot. Shouldn't put our money up by too much. I put the transformer station in to give them more power. I don't understand. Yeah, waiting for an ambulance, you see. So we need to sort that out. So the hearses and the ambulances should be sorted. Now, I don't know if putting trees in here will work, to be honest. We can try it. Uh, hang on, let me just... Uh, I 
Not sure why that went down for some reason. That's weird. There we go. Uh, right, yeah. That should be slightly better. I don't understand why. I think it's, like I said, I think it's the power plant. I'm not entirely sure. But if we can just try and get some trees in here or some shrubbery. Uh, hang on a second. Let's put multiple trees in. Not sure why the trees are growing uh, on the side of the river. Oh, okay. <laughs> Odd. Let's see if we can get some trees in here to try and absorb the air pollution. It might work, it might not. I don't know, I'm just trying it out. Anything to try and get rid of this horrendous... Uh... There we go. Something might happen. It might work, it might not, but we'll see. Okay, what's next? Oh, I put this um, American football field in here and uh, I don't... Th I think... I think that was the only thing I did. Oh god, we've got a serious hearse problem over here. Hang on a second. Okay, we might have to upgrade another one of these uh, crematoriums. Yeah, we do. We need to. We need to upgrade this to uh, a hearse. Um. Hmm. Well, that's not going to work, is it? We're going to have to sort of tweak the river here, I think. Because we do need to get more hearse garages in here. Uh, let's have a look. I'm getting distracted on a bunch of things, but we do need to... Um, we do need to sort this out. So... Whoops. This is going to be glitchy as hell. Oh, my God. Why is it going down? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> okay. Let's try and at least get one extra hearse in here if we can. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. <laughs> Maybe there's another place we can put another hearse? I don't know. Is there another crematorium over here? Police station? Uh, there is a crematorium somewhere. I have seen it. Uh, elementary schools are full. Oh my god. Uh, nope. I can't find I can't find a uh, hang on a second. Let's go into here and go into death care. Okay, this will show me where they are. There's one. Nope, that's a that's a clinic. There's one. Okay, yes. So what we're going to do is we'll uh, we'll get rid of a couple of these buildings. We will dezone them. Uh and you and you right and then we'll bulldoze them out the way and we will put in some more hearses here as well hearse there and a hearse there and upgrade that to an extra incinerator and that should sort things out yeah okay uh, if I just check this See, death care and health care, it, it's all good. Crematorium availability is all right. Cemetery availability is all right. And health care availability is all right. It's not really that much of an issue. We, um, we're going to be doing, I'll tell you right now, we're going to be doing the, um, the, medical, the medical, the third part of the university. University part three, which is long overdue. Um, we've got the Health Institute and the Disease Control Centre. I'm literally just waiting for the Large Hadron Collider, and then we are going to um, do the, the do the last part of the university. I think there was um, was there something else I needed for that or not? 
No, we need to do our central intelligence and central bank, the central district, at some point, because we're also going to be putting a city hall in there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. The satellite uplink is is going to be something else. We'll do we'll do a we'll do a radio tower and stuff for that and sort that out later on. Um, we're doing an episode where we're going to put in loads of um, loads more mining and stuff over here. We're going to be crossing the river and putting some more mining in. Hopefully, getting some more um, some more industry up here. In fact, do you know what? That's what we need to do. Oh, no, I want to put it in a port for now because I want the port finished off. The port looks absolutely unreal. This looks really cool, actually. This looks really cool. I like this. Just the graphics being on medium really annoy me. They're going to have to get that sorted as soon as possible. But yeah, so let's put in a little bit more industry. Uh, we will stick with the one-way theme, I think. So we'll come to there and go to there. And then we'll come up here like that. And then we'll whack in some more industry. We don't need a lot because... Uh... There we go. So that will add on to our industry section. Not entirely sure what we're going to put in here. I think we just need to put some high-density commercial in here. Yeah, we'll put some high-density commercial in there. We're going to connect this up to the road. There we go. Try and keep people moving. Uh, this is starting to get passengers. Passengers waiting 29. So actually, if passengers are waiting, we need a parking fee on there. And we need to go into the transportation center. I think. Uh, wait. Okay, hang on. Into there. Into there. No, we need trains. We need this. And we need more services running on it. Okay, so we should get another three red trains over here now. Possibly. Although it could take hours with the simulation speed at the minute. I don't know. Maybe not. No, you see, it's just it's just freezing. Look, the rain stopped. Hello. There we go. Thing is, when I move side to side, it does actually work like faster. I don't, I don't stand. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna try and build this area up as well. Um. Now, that's going to take a little bit more planning to do that. We'll, we'll, we might come back to that. We've got an issue with... We've got, an, we've got a serious issue with... Um, yeah, are these actually working? Let's put another one of them in. And let's upgrade it as well. Why not? Give it cold storage as well. How close are we to our goal? We're getting there. We might hit it this episode, actually. I'm hoping to hit it this episode. What else can we build? We need to build up this area, don't we? Um, screw it. Let's, popul let's populate this area with uh, houses. Um, so we will have a road coming off here. Uh, let's get the curve on the go. There we go. Whoops. And can we bring this back onto here? Or do we just bring it onto there? Screw it, I'll bring it onto there. Not sure why they've decided to move out. What's that? What's 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 with that? <laughs> okay, let's put in some more houses here so that this looks like it's actually. Um, let's not do that. Let's do this. 
much quicker just to run the, um, the mouse around it like this. And then these will start to build. Probably going to be noisy with that highway going on. But, uh, oh, I keep forgetting the Prime is there. I'm so not used to having Prime. Marvellous. That's better. Helps me talk as well, that stuff. I don't know why. But, uh, right, let's... Uh, Get all these houses done. Okay, so they will build. We will leave them alone to build because otherwise we're going to be ours. Now, this island. I wasn't actually sure what to do with this island. I really wasn't sure what to do with it. I think we're going to build... Um, we're going to make it slightly bigger. Uh, where is my awful tool of leveling? Which... which you know, they, I, I thought they were making this better, but I don't know. Look, look, at look. <laughs> How is that level? <laughs> I leveled it from here. I suppose it's working now. I don't understand, though. Like, what, what was that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go up like this and do it. I just don't trust it. <laughs> We'll make it slightly bigger because we're going to put, we're going to try and, uh, what is this? What on earth is this? Looks like a derelict farmhouse of some kind. We need to make it slightly bigger because, uh, oh God, it's an absolute nightmare, this tool. I don't understand. <laughs> How has that happened? <laughs> now it's deciding to work. Now it just drops off. Okay, there we go. That's good. So we'll bring this up like this. And this should be fine. Okay, now we can fill it in. It will still glitch like that. But, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to come back and do that offline. I can't be bothered with that. It's absolutely annoying me. So we still have this area with the on and off ramp. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing here. I think maybe just another uh, sort of residential and commercial zone on this side of the map the problem is though it's sitting downwind from the power plant so we're just going to get more of this air pollution nonsense is it just residential that gives air pollution because if it is i might just build a whole commercial section over here or i might just build something else here that's not what was that what on earth was that oh it's someone's pool someone's pool is yellow what the hell Oh my god. Would you swim in that? I certainly would not swim in that. That is absolutely horrendous. I don't know whether that's the graphics glitching out. It just looks absolutely atrocious. No, I just couldn't. See, they're, they're, they've got a pool, haven't they? Yeah, their pool's alright. They look after their pool. Are these people poor? <laughs> Hang on, where, where's it gone? Actually, has it disappeared now? Where's it gone? I've just had it. They don't even have any water in their pool. There it is. Household wealth wealthy. I'm sorry, but... We need to start getting these buildings to level 5 as well. Um, higher level residential buildings have higher upkeep costs, but they also consume less water and electricity and produce less garbage. Residential wealth is based on the resident's employment situation and job level. Right, so we need to start getting more people. We need to start getting more people employed, really. Um, I think these people, we're going to have to build this up here. We're going to build this industry up here because uh, 
You know, the more industry we have, I think, uh, whoops, let's not do that. The more industry we have over here, the better. So we're going to put more industry in here. There we go. We need as much industry as possible. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring the industry taxes down slightly. I think we can lower taxes across the board to be fair. We're not making we're not losing as much money now. There we go. So that should get more people coming to the city, at least. And we do need more commercial as well. I suppose people work in commercial areas, so we should really look at putting some more commercial in. Don't know if we can put it in here, though. Let's see if we can fit some commercial in here. Yeah. Um, you know, we can probably put a road in here. And then you get, you see, we can get, we can now, that, that completely glitched out on me there, but never mind. So we'll put some more commercial in there. Uh, this is actually a road, believe it or not. So we can, uh, I mean a road, a road, of course it's a road. I mean, it's a road that lets me put residential and stuff down next to it. The zoning, <laughs> it's a road. Uh, okay, let's see what else we can get in here. Can we get that? No. They can be, uh, they can be, and that can be. It's just about finding, what is this? Oh. What does this mean? I don't know. Whoop, no, we don't want that. Oh, it's too late. Oh, well, there we go. See, that's what I mean about building in the river. That's what it does. It, it raises the land, and now this looks horrendous. But, to be fair, it just looks horrendous anyway. <laughs> Wait, this is the zoning tool, people. I mean, not good. Not good at all, but never mind. Okay, we've got some space here. We need to fill this in, probably with residential. My prime bottle's in the way. Let's move it out of the way and let's get a little avenue that comes off here. Oh no, hang on. No, those are... Um... Right, so we're going to have that as a commercial. Still no demand for higher residential zoning, which is odd, but uh, and there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, we could do with getting a bit more industrial down here in the um, in this area. So let's bring that road across to there. Um, and of course, we will zone this industrial for now. I don't think... I don't think this is all going to... This is all going to be moved at some point well over here to the port area. Okay, let's fill this in here as well. I think we should do commercial again. Let's do... Not enough workers! Oh, God. Do you know what? Medium density commercial. Medium density. Let's go medium density. And we'll upgrade them to medium density as well. Screw it. Right. Uh, let's road this off. By coming up here. Going across here, connecting to there, and then the same with this to there, and to there, and then to there, and to there. There we go. Now we can't put, 
we're gonna have to it's not it's all upwind from the um from the smog so we will put lots of housing in here there we go and then what we'll do is we'll put commercial buildings there and we'll just put we'll just put a block in so it's blocking the um the industrial doesn't seem to be going very fast is that actually moving hmm just it is just moving and i mean the graphics are on are on medium now so i don't know maybe maybe the computer needs a restart again I don't, i'm not not entirely sure but i'm loving this i'm absolutely loving this the waterfall array wow actually do you know what we need to name some people i've got a, i've got a list here of people who had commented a while ago so somebody wants me to, to use the the state montana i know I've, i know i haven't done this for ages i've been i've been i, I keep forgetting to do it so this is going to be the Montana Array. Whoops. The Montana Array is now in. Chris Collin, 9679. Um, uh, can we name this bridge? Or can we not name bridges? Yes, we can. So this will be the uh, Chris Cullen, Cullen, Chris Cullen. Um, oh, I don't remember caps locks on. Chris Cullen, nineteen seventy nine, ninety six seventy nine, ninety six seventy nine bridge. Uh, that's pretty cool. There we go. So, and uh, we also have another person who, um, wait, I don't know if we can name the rail bridges. No, we can't. Okay. Um, let's name somebody after the harbour. Wester Drive. Wester Drive Harbour. There we go. Thank you for your comments. And, um, oh, it was Chris Collin. 9679 as Montana. Oh, well, you have been named after two buildings. So there we go. Uh, and finally, um, Jim Messenger. Jim Messenger. It is now the Jim Messenger cargo terminal. Cargo needs to go in there. Cargo terminal. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, screw it. You know what? To fill, finish the episode off, let's fix this area here as well. Why not? We are getting some residential demand. So we will put in... Uh, some residential street. here okay so we'll fill all this in with residential probably going to get a bunch of noise complaints or something along those lines i don't know uh, that can all be commercial yes why not and then hopefully this issue with the lack of high skilled labor will be fixed because uh, we do have an issue with that. Quite a serious issue as well, actually. Um, we will zone a few of these as high density, you know, why not? And then if we get any high density, that will build up and provide even more labor workspace for the, uh, for the port area. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, this hasn't worked. Um, actually, is there any buildings on this side to go in? Nope. 
absolutely nothing. But never mind. Um, let me put in some... I'm actually going to change it slightly. I'm going to do the, the European model here. We're going to do. We're going to start doing a bit of uh, European housing. I think. Will they build or won't they build? Let's help it along a bit, shall we? It is uh, starting to to sort of crawl a bit, isn't it? Hmm. So we've got all the cargo routes set up. Um, we're going to need a bus a bus service to come over here as well, aren't we? At some point, I don't want to put any more buses in. <laughs> it's just going to make the game go even slower. <laughs> How far we are we off our milestone? We must be close. Nope, we're not going to hit it this episode. We're going to hit it next episode. Is that the cat making a noise down there? Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got uh, a bunch of things in. I think next episode we're going to work on our uh, raw materials because we just need to get more people in jobs. <laughs> we really do. <laughs> so we've got this section building here. We've got these sections building here. This section building here, let's help it along here. I don't know why these have moved out. Weird, but never mind. Let's whack in some more, let's whack in some dense commercial here. Screw it, uh, there we go. Dense commercial, and we'll make that commercial and that commercial. Um, we'll make that commercial as well. Right, there we go. So yeah, the port is really starting to, wait a second, why is that not building up? That's not good. No. We need dense commercial in there as well then. Or do we just put light commercial in? Screw it. Let's put light commercial in. We just need it built. Okay. So that will build up. We need to put in some more commercial over here. Let's just fill everything uh, that's commercial in here. And then things will sort of look a bit better. Okay, is this needing commercial as well? No, oh, apparently. We need a road. I can't be dealing with this. <laughs> we need a road. <laughs> we need an alley. I love these alleys. And they're absolutely great. For, um... Whoops. They're absolutely great for doing things like this. And now we can put in more commercial there. And that will fill that up, which is absolutely wonderful because it just gives us more and more and more places for people for, for work, for, for jobs. And the commercial is actually starting to drop off now for the first time in ages. Uh, how's our money doing? Minus 156 still? Hmm. Well, as people move in, it will begin to it will begin to go down. We don't have too much of an issue with crime. In fact, everything looks pretty good. We've got wealth on sixteen. We've got fair taxes plus six. We've got an abundance of entertainment at plus five. We've got walking distance to elementary school as a plus three. We've got plus two spacious homes. We've got plus one service upgrades. Service upgrades. Um. Service upgrades. I'm not sure. We've got abundance of leisure time. We've got a reliable mail service for the first time in like 30 episodes. <laughs> High noise pollution is still an issue. We may I'll, I'll go around offline and um, tail the highways off, put some walls up. And uh, we've even got reliable healthcare coverage, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so yeah, things are going well. It's just for some reason. The demand for um, particular zoning is a bit horrific. I'm not entirely sure why. Why it's horrific. We may start to build over this area next. I think we may need to like put a lot of residential areas in over here. A couple of high schools, an elementary school. Um, 
and then yeah things are really starting to to look up how are we doing for power and water let's have a look at that so electricity is good battery charge is zero um we've got the gas power plant in uh we could do with putting a coal power plant in somewhere it is cheaper to run on coal. It's only 70,000. Um, we will look at doing that at some point, I think. But maybe further afield. <laughs> We've got 5 million in money, so that's cool. We can build. We can buy a couple more um, of these, maybe to... Uh, actually, no, do you know what? We need to build some this way as well, so... Actually, where's the natural resources at? Let's go here and hover over this. So we could do with buying this up here, I think. Is that ore mining? Right. So we're going to buy this area here and probably flatten it out somewhat. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to buy this up here uh, I'm going to spend a fortune on this but never mind so there we go that's all bought now and I will level that out in another episode uh, look at this look at this <laughs> I think we need to uh, to flatten this out a bit don't you <laughs> Jesus it's a shame we can't build to the edge of the city there, but then, like, like it's a shame that you, that you can't like extend slightly over this line just to make it so that this stuff doesn't happen. Look at this! Look at this! This is a water pipe, <laughs> and this is an electricity pipe. <laughs> oh God! But no, next episode I think we're going to be doing ore mining and other things like coal and various other things. Yeah, we need to we need to sort of do more oil over here. Uh, yeah, definitely, because uh, this river is uh, full full of natural resources, and uh, well, I hope there isn't a tidal wave. <laughs> but yeah, that's oh, there's a train there. Cool, a train that isn't going very fast. That's how fast it should be going. That's how fast it is going. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? Might even have enough prime for the next episode. I don't know. Yes, we may even have enough prime for another episode. So, thank you all for watching, people. And um, are these full? No, but they are not half getting there. Um. We're going to have to keep an eye on the garbage situation. <laughs> uh, let's put some industrial in here. We might as well. In fact, we can industrialize all this. Why well, we haven't done it already. There we go. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not entirely sure why we haven't uh, industrialized all this yet. I really am not sure, but it is now industrialized, so it will build up and hopefully provide us with even more jobs and, uh, and stuff. Right, thanks for watching, folks. I will see you in the next episode, which I think will be episode 31. And that will be our first full month of the Ransom Canyon City Skylines playthrough. I can't believe we've come this far with it, to be honest. I really didn't think we'd get this far with this city. But um, we have, and we've reached 152,749 people. It's going up like 622 an hour, which means we will soon be at our next milestone, which is a massive metropolis. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next episode.